Good day for everyone. In this video, we are going to explore how to reduce time slices from 96 to 8 using a reducer macro for Osmosis Starter Data Kit. The first step is to go to this link in Zenodo. The link will be provided in the description of this video. And here we will find two files. The first one, README, and the second one, Time Slices Reducing Macro. So we need to download the first one, clicking over here, and then we can download the second one, clicking over here too. Once this is done, we can go to the folder where the files are, and then we can open the first one. This is the this is README. This is a Word file where you will find all the instructions step by step of how to use this macro, and this step will be also discussed in this video. The second file is the time slicer reducing macro where we will find the code of the macro. This is over here, as you can see. Now we can open our starter data kit. In this case, in this case, we have this example for Zambia. And here we can observe the specified demand profile, which is a parameter that is dependent on time slice. And as you can see here too, right now, this parameter is dependent on all the 96 time slices. So the idea is to reduce this to eight time slices only. Now, here we are going to go to the tab of developer over here. Then we can open our Visual Basic interface, this, this one. And here we have a new module to include our code. So we are going to our code in this block notes uh, file. We can select all. Then we can copy and finally we can paste it over here. Right now we have our code in our Excel file and then we are going to run this by clicking over here in this little green triangle. So we click on this. We have to wait for around 15 seconds. And finally, a new window open up and it will say that the time slices were reduced successfully from 90 since to 8. So we click here and accept. Then we can we can minimize this. And as you can see here, our time slices were reduced from 96 to only 8, as you can see here. It's important to highlight that this is applied not only for specified demand profile, but also for capacity factors of power generation generation technologies and also for the GR split parameter. Thank you so much for your attention.